I think I need to wave at you like this. <laughs> is that how <laughs> you guys wave? The other. <laughs> That's right. Uh, again, uh, it is yet another Zoom exclusive brought to you by Andrew and Daniel of WeSellWindsor.ca. Three names, it's very synonymous uh, with every Canadian. They've been entertaining families since 1978. Here with me now is Sharon and her daughter, Randy, of Sharon, Lois, and Bram. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Good, good morning. Happy to be with you. I can confidently tell you that I was raised on Sharon, Lois, and Bram. Thank you very much. <laughs> and it came out okay, apparently. I guess I did. <laughs> I am an elephant show kid. Uh, this is very full circle moment for me. I'm 41. Now, I could not get into the show that you did at the Cleary. Look at these crowds. Look at wow. these crowds. So you did a show in Windsor at the Cleary. I asked my mom, like, did we go? I can't remember. And she said, we couldn't get in. You were devastated. So we went to Rafi instead, which is fine. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> which, I mean, Rafi was big at the time too. And we were we were just fine. But man, did I want to see that elephant in, in real life. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. That was a long time ago. Very, I was, I'm sure. Now, uh, I we should find a that. costume. Yeah, I, you had some great costumes. Uh, we should say that Bram is uh, on vacation before you head out on this on this big tour. Um, and then, of course, do we all miss Lois so dearly? It's just, it feels like a lifetime ago, but it also feels like, you know, like it just happened. So right off the hop, I wanted to mention that. We're going to get to your new book, the country album, and your trip to Windsor in just a second. But um, how does it feel, Sharon? You know, you're seeing a resurgence in your career. You have... 17 million views on TikTok. I think you have 40 million on Spotify. How does it feel when you get messages from kids like me saying, oh my God, I got goosebumps. I can't believe my kids are watching you now. How, how does that feel? It's, it is, of course, touching. And we get beautiful, beautiful messages. And the resurgence of our career has everything to do with Randy uh, because so many things have happened. Like it, like TikTok and things like that, we, stuff that we, Bram and I wouldn't, we know nothing about it even now, except they tell us what to do and where to go. Um, you know, Randy and our team have our best interests at heart. And so they make all this amazing stuff happen that would never have happened. But clearly there's an audience there that is interested in receiving it. And that that is, that's heartrending. And we get beautiful, touching messages, and they you never get tired of something like that. The, the nope. social media opportunity to connect, like, you know, Bram doesn't tour anymore. He doesn't um, do that piece. But to do a one-minute TikTok is fun. He can tell jokes. We do things, the three of us, my mom and Bram do stuff. And the outpouring of nostalgic joy from adult fans is crazy we recently did a tv interview and in the green room backstage they recorded us singing skinnamarink and uh it's at 1.3 million views and which is like quadruple their biggest TikTok. or you know it's just amazing how people are desperate for nostalgia memory unlocked Thank you for my childhood. Why am I crying? All of these amazing messages of of joy. So I I say that that's the water and the sunshine that nurtures my mother and and uh, makes her you know happy to to go out and keep doing this and energized. Yes, keeps you young for sure. <laughs> I mean, that's like I could you know uh, like I said, I was raised. I have a twin sister and a brother ra raised on Sharon Lois and Bram. And it's a very Canadian thing too. Um, so Randy, was it was your mom like Taylor Swift when you were growing up? Is it, Did you understand that she was this phenomenon <laughs> when you were growing I, up? I really, I did. I, for starters, I was a little older. When she started, I was about 12. Um, so I would sell records. I was occasionally you know, dancing on stage in a gray persona. Um, I would meet them in interesting locations, including Windsor and Detroit. I'd take the train down and join them for parts of tours. So I really did, I did understand it, but um, really when Lois died, there was this overwhelming outpouring of love and affection. And 
I said, you know, I was sad that she wasn't around to experience it. Right. And I wanted to make sure that Sharon and Bram got to to have the chance to connect with their audiences in a significant way again. And I had no idea that things were going to take off the way they did. But um, to hear firsthand from all of the grown up fans who now have kids has been incredible for me. Absolutely. I mean, and, and your new book, I have to say, like, and I don't have the elephant one, though. These are they are so lovely. They are such a keepsake. Thank you. There we go. They are such a keepsake. I now know what I'm going to get for every baby shower gift when they don't want you to bring a card, you bring a book. But uh, there, whoever your artist is, the illustrator, she's un she's unbelievable. Uh, there, it's her cool. name. You need to know her name. Her name is Chin Ling, and uh, she's in, done in she's done wonderful, playful. I mean, she's she's marvelous, and we're th thrilled with all that she's done with us. So this is the new one, is the peanut butter and jelly book, correct? I mean, you, how many songs do you have? You could do a book for every every one of them, I feel, don't you? I'm hoping. Yeah, really. <laughs> um, and then I should also get to the, uh, we're going to get to the the book reading and the sing-along at Devon Char Mall in a second. A country. A little bit country. A country album. <laughs> so let me ask you, is it, um, Sharon... Are these reimaginings of the songs that we know and love with with twang? Is that what it is? No, they're they they exist. They're part of we've made twenty albums or whatever the number is, and and upon reflection, and it, not even ours, but part of our team, JC and Chris, who who thought there's a lot on those albums that qualifies as country because Bram are all, our, Bram and I are old folkies. So a lot of the music we recorded was had a had a folk flavor, and so the most of the music on the album there's some some things on the album that have not not been on albums before, but mostly they come from you know all of all of what we've recorded and they qualify as country, and we're thrilled. We were thrilled with putting that view on it, and we got to listen to all of that music again as it was put together it's a, and I love the album I think it's 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 immodest of me to say but I well I'm not saying it's fabulous although I think it is <laughs> but I'm saying it is a delight and, and I enjoy it is that a fair description Randy it's the the idea that you could um appeal to a different audience than they had typically you know catered to um, you know, coming around the mountain, which is an old favorite, we've added into our concert the country spin, which is a tie yippee yippee yippee, um, which was on this album. Uh, but there are a lot of country tunes on it. Little Liza Jane, you know, there are just there are there are songs they that have the feel, have that energy and feel. And we went to Nashville to um, to promote the the album and had a fantastic time there and just just you know country is just such a wonderful musical genre so it was kind of fun to bring lois lois's voice back as well and be able to um you know package right. the music in that kind of way that's wonderful i just as soon as i heard it i was like this is you know my kids are i have five-year-old twins so this is just going to be, I know. So we're ready. We are skin a rinky ready for this. You mean album. you're exactly. a twin? You're a twin, and you yes. have twins. And I, I have twins. Was supposed to skip a generation. We did too. So when they turned that screen around, I thought I was shattered glass because we weren't expecting it at all. No, it's a, like it's a thing. Twins very often have twins. So really? wow. Was, so it's a boy. We have a boy and a girl, and that's it. <laughs> we're done. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, so we are. This is, you know, this is a common theme in our in our household is the peanut butter song and and, and more. Um, so Randy and uh, uh, Sharon, we're going to see you in Windsor very soon. So how does that work? You're going to be at Devonshire Mall, and how will that work? We're going to be at the Indigo at one o'clock on Sunday, October first, and we're going to do a little mini sing along, and then we will. Um, you know, read our books, read, sing our books. We like to do that now. We show the illustrations and um, and then we take pictures and meet with people and sign their books afterwards. And hopefully everyone buys all three books because they're yes. all awesome. They are. 
They are. They, they just are, they're just really well done. They're really well done. No, so this is just like anyone sure. can show up thing, right? Uh, anyone can show up. Um, hopefully lots of people will show up yeah. and sing with us. And if they want a full concert with our band, we're going to be in Ann Arbor the day before at the Ark at 11 a.m. Hopefully it's not too long of a drive from Windsor to Ann Arbor. Nope. I think it's like, I think it's like 40 minutes start to finish, even oh, if you can well, the, the tolls and everything. Yeah, Everyone should come. Yes, absolutely. Well, once people hear about it, I think this is going to be we're talking like maybe Morgan Wall and crowds. I don't know. I'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> because nostalgia is king. Nostalgia sells. It's it's wild. It's it's wild to me. Um, and 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 Bram will be there as well. Correct? No, Bram is Bram is not going. Bram does not do concert touring anymore. Gotcha. You did yeah. say that. Yes. So it's it's um it's a Sharon Lois and Bram sing along with Sharon and Randy, and we've been doing these for about three years now. Um. And you get to hear all your favorite Sharon Lowe and Bram songs. And it's very interactive. And we have uh, a family band. And in the family band is Randy's eldest son, my grandson, Ethan, who's wow. the band leader. And he plays bass. He plays guitar as well. But he doesn't need to in this show because Randy's partner, Jim, plays guitar for us. <laughs> so it, it truly, it's truly a family band. Wow. That's no, did you, so Randy, did you always know that you were going to continue the legacy? No. <laughs> um, I think when, when Bram decided he wanted to retire, my mom wasn't ready to retire yet. yet. And um, Lois had on a couple of occasions encouraged me to fill in for her while she was still alive. And so I said, mom, why don't we try this? And then COVID hit. And we started doing uh, Facebook live concerts and then Zoom concerts and- From her living room. From my wow. living room, yeah. And it just, it just felt like it worked. And people started asking us to come to folk festivals and, and started booking us. And it's just really, I, I think my mom wasn't sure. And I think that uh, um, she's been persuaded. <laughs> We've been having a really good time. Well, I mean, those numbers on TikTok and Spotify, just you, you, you have to know that it, it is working. Uh, well, you know, please send Bram our best. Um, it is a Zoom exclusive brought to you by Andrew and Daniel of WeSellWindsor.ca. They guarantee to sell your home or they'll buy it in cash. We are going to promote the heck out of that Devonshire Mall show and then the Ann Arbor one. Once people find out and get word of it, I know that a lot of my um, mom friends, they're going to be there uh, to sing along with their little ones too. Now, I do have one more question for you, ladies. It's very hard hitting, okay? Because after all these years, I've always wanted to know. What do you do? Are you a spoon, a knife, or do you double dip when you make your peanut butter and jam? <laughs> Sharon, I'll ask you first. What are you using? The the people want to know after all these years. So for me, I would use a knife for the peanut butter and a spoon for the jelly. And by the way, I make grape jelly. I have made grape jelly over the years for a long, 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 long time. And um, because it was, my husband was a peanut butter and jelly guy. Um, and uh, that's why I started making jelly. So um, I, that's, and also in our house, because there's, there in Randy's family, there have been some peanut allergies. So mm -hmm. we're very careful about not sharing the cutlery from one thing to another. <laughs> and we should mention that in the in the peanut butter book, Randy, explain what you, what you did. Randy it's wrote so all funny. the it is words. What you wrote is so funny about that. If we're allergy free or something, right? <laughs> well, at the back, we put, we put a little postscript so that the kids who can't eat peanut butter have some other options. There's gluten-free bread. There's, you know, soybean spread. You know, I, personally, I have honey and I'm a spoon person. I like to eat my peanut butter right out of the jar with a spoon. I don't even need the bread. <laughs> That is, you, you got to be inclusive, important. right? I love that you're inclusive. That, that is amazing. I need to tell you one nostalgic story. Okay, do it. Windsor, Windsor was always significant for Sharon, Lois, and Bram because we loved to stop for barbecue. Oh, and I think I know where that place is. <laughs> it might have started with Tunnel. Yes. And honest to goodness, we loved Tunnel Barbecue. And we would, when we were touring by bus, we drive the bus to Tunnel Barbecue and park there, and everybody 
held inside to get uh, to get barbecue. And recent, well, not so recently, a few years ago, a fan said to me, because Tunnel Barbecue is closed and gone, she said, I have the recipe and I'll share it with you. <laughs> so I make Tunnel wow. Barbecue ribs at home. So Amazing. Windsor is always with me. I believe that's such a good memory. And again, there are some core memories being unlocked right now because a lot of my age group are listening going, I remember going to that show. I remember when the elephant walked by me and I touched his arm and it was like the Beatles back when we were growing up. So I, I have to say, um, you know, you gave us a childhood anthem, uh, ladies, you know, Lois and Bram. Um, now you've got the books the country album. I've done a lot of interviews with country stars over the years, uh, but this one is 40 years in the making. And I, I thank you very much for spending some time with me. Really, what a what a full circle moment. And you know what you got to do, Sharon? You got to start, now, like, just because you guys are a marketing machine, sell that jam, sell it, start selling it. Oh my goodness. What? That's hilarious. <laughs> I'll take some royalties when you do that. <laughs> yeah, right, right. If anyone wants to buy it, right. So you need to look at the digging page of peanut butter and jelly with your twins. I'm going to. I'll I will. Look closely There's... at that page. I yeah, will. And I, I so Everybody appreciate it. There. The books are beautiful. I can't wait to listen to the album. Uh, thank you again, ladies. And we will see you at Devonshire Mall. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Lovely to chat. Lovely.